first off, the ACT for juniors is extremely important. I know some teachers might try to, uh, you know, devalue it maybe a little bit, say, you know, it's not the, the most important thing in the world, but it really is. I mean, you go to a college site and you can look at the scholarships that they have available to you and if you get a 28 on your ACT, you might be able to get $10,000 off as opposed to a 26 where they only give you $2,000 off. And it makes a major difference in, you know, availability of schools. Uh, it, I mean, a good ACT score greatly increases the chances of you being accepted into your top school and everybody wants to be accepted in their top school. Uh, so the ACT isn't something to take lightly in the slightest. Uh, you want to do your best on it. I mean, don't blow it off because that's probably the worst thing you could do for any future educational goals you have. Uh, and when you're searching for colleges, uh, I mean, make, make sure the college you're going to is one that you actually want to. I mean, if you don't like the cold, don't go to you know, Michigan University. Go somewhere warm. Uh, if you want to be close to home, stay close to home. If you don't care, then just find the best college for you. Uh, just, yeah. Uh, you, visiting colleges is really important. Uh, it'll, it gives you a good idea of what's going on. Uh, I visited a couple myself, but I don't really know what I'll, you know. My parents have done it more often than I have. But, you know, you'll always find what you, you'll find what you want there, and it'll be a good time. I mean, it's always good to go visit a school. I mean, because you might think you like it, and you're like, oh, that team is great football. That school is a great football team. But you go visit, and, you know, it's not what you're expecting it to be. You know, people aren't how you're expecting it to be. It was just a bad experience. And then that's a good reason to not go to that school, because you want to enjoy it there. I mean, that's... That's one of the major things I think to look for in a school is to make sure you actually enjoy being there. Because if you don't like where you're learning, then you just won't learn as well. Uh, when I was searching through colleges, uh, one of my major concerns was staying warm. Found out this last winter I didn't like winter. So my top college choices are all more southerly. It makes it farther away, but uh, you know, I'm alright with being far away from home. Uh, you know, the schools I go to, they're big schools. I mean, I, I personally enjoy being in large places and, you know, with lots of people around. Some people, it might not work for you. I mean, you might not be the most extroverted person around. So going to Arizona State with 60,000 students might not be the best idea for you. Uh, and just, like, around the school and through your parents, I mean, they're going to be the best resources for you. You're guidance counselor, I mean, whoever he or she is has, you know, untold amount of knowledge about what schools need what and whether they think it'd be a good choice for you. And yeah, that's it for me. And when you're looking for colleges, um, some things that to keep in mind are the cost of college, how many students go there, the location, it's close to home, far to home, if your major's offered there, if um, if you're deciding between multiple majors, if all of those majors are offered there, it's not just about where your friends are going, it's about where you want to go and like if you can afford to go there. And the best way to be able to determine if you can af uh, afford to go there is applying for scholarships and seeing what the school can offer to you to begin with. Um, our school has like a great scholarship door resource that I go in at least once a week to see how many scholarships they have that they update. And um, the guidance um, office is super good about helping you figure out what scholarships you can apply to, how, how many letters of recommendation you need, if you need transcripts or things like that. So applying to college is not just about like where your friends are going and where you'll have the most fun, it's about where's the best place that you can um, get a good education, I guess. Um, and when you're thinking about what college you want to go to, narrow down your choices first. Um, rent a couple books from the library on colleges or you know buy a couple books or something and see which ones interest you, then think about visiting there, setting up visits, and going to the website to figure out if you want to spend the time visiting there, if it's worth your time. And when you're visiting a college, make sure you make like a checklist, the pros and cons of what you like about the college, to see um, if what you like about the college you know, outweighs the what you don't like, and if it's worth you spending your time going visiting again or even applying there. And um, also when you're visiting a college, make sure 
that when um, you go there, you talk to the people that, um, the admissions that of your specific college, if you're going to the University of Illinois, business college, talk to the business representatives there or the education representatives there to see how they can help you to make sure you're on the right path to applying to their college because some colleges have different criteria than other colleges and things like that. Okay, so over here you have your request, record, your request that you need from your counselor. Uh, on the very top, in the white sheet, is a record, record request form, which is basically getting your transcripts and AT, ACT scores ready for you to be able to send them to your college of choice. Uh, and then third one down is a recommendation request form, which you need to fill out for any letters of recommendation. Even if they're online, you still need to fill them out. Uh, you'd send them over to the next desk at Mrs. Gentry, and you should allow uh, about a week to two weeks for each one. So, I mean, if you have two days left, don't try because it won't get done. We talked about earlier the scholarship drawers here with like paper copies of the application, and all of these applications are, are listed in the scholarship handbook as, as well as on the um, Hymega website. So, when you are thinking about affording college, make sure you check out the scholarship drawer because. The guidance counselors are really helpful about filling out scholarships and will really help at the end. And um, also in here, there's drawers with all the colleges and universities, private and public, in Illinois, Wisconsin, all over the United States, where you can um, pick up more information in each of the drawers. That way, if you don't have time to go visit the college, there's always more information displayed here in the GCP office, as well as information for other things you can do.